One of my favorite biblical characters is the prophet Moses. Most everyone is familiar with his story. After a challenging and adventure-filled life, Moses ends up on top of a mountain actually talking with God. <laughs> of course, Moses is amazed and awed. This is God. But then God announces he has a special job for him. It isn't a small job. It's a totally impossible job. And Moses balks. Actually, he doesn't just balk. <laughs> he totally freaks out. And with varying degrees of politeness, Moses says no thank you to God because he, Moses, is convinced he is not the best choice. Seriously, Moses offers every excuse in the book. He starts with, no one is going to believe me, then moves on to, did I mention I don't do public speaking? <laughs> and even tries blunt, please pick someone else. I swear the man would have brought up dry cleaning and PTA meetings if he'd thought of them. You name it, Moses tried it. Because Moses was asking a very human question. Why me, God? And we know this story because God had an answer for that question too. Moses had been preparing for this task his entire life. He just didn't know it. I love this story because I've lost count of the times I have offered that same whining prayer. Why me, God? I understand Moses. You see, I am not a doctor. I am just a mom. And yet, I am asking people to listen to me about something vitally important. And my story is about something impossible. And it affects millions of children all over the world. And I totally get why Moses tried to duck out of his task too. Are you ready? I know how to prevent cerebral palsy. Let that sink in for a minute. If you know anything about cerebral palsy, you know that by definition it is incurable and doctors will tell you they aren't sure what causes it. Yet I am telling you with complete conviction that I know how to save children from this condition. Not all, but more than just a few. Furthermore, this secret can save premature babies from untimely death, prevent developmental delays, and help autistic children with sensory processing issues. Why me, God? <laughs> yes, I've asked that question a lot. I am not a doctor. I am just a mom. But I am a woman of faith. I trust God. I believe God gave me first the burning desire to become a mother, then gifted me with my amazing and wonderful twins. I believe God has been in charge this entire time. I believe everything happened exactly the way it needed to, so finally the people who need this information could receive it. As I said, I am a woman of faith, but the rest of these videos won't focus on my faith. I just wanted to explain something else important. When you are asking why anyone would willingly set forth on the journey I am about to share, it wasn't always willingly. <laughs> Sometimes it was kicking and screaming the entire way. Sometimes you just have to trust there's a bigger plan. I love the story of the prophet Moses. I am comforted by the idea our human struggles are all part of a grander plan, even when things look impossible. My name is Ida Briggs. This series is dedicated to the families who need it and to the ones who didn't get the information in time.